that song is called 96 Tears, uh, recorded by Question Mark and the Mysterians way back in the early 60s. And I played that song because it's a very, very simple song. It has only two chords. It has this chord, which we will, is a C major chord. And then it changes to this chord, which is a C minor chord. And it just goes back and forth between those two chords. Knowing major and minor chords is one of the most important things for any musician to know. That uh, we have major sounds, which a lot of people will think of as a sound. Minor, which we think of as a, a, a sad sound. But in reality, I, I, some, there's a problem with major and minor. Some of the saddest music I ever heard was actually in major. Some of the happiest music I've ever heard is in minor. Uh, let's call this a bright sound, a bright harmony, a bright chord. And let's call this a dark chord. I, th I like those terms better, because there can certainly be happy, dark music, and there can be very sad, <laughs> bright music. Um, so what's, what we need for a chord, um, I talked earlier about a pentatonic scale, a five-tone scale. For to, us to have a chord, we must have at least three notes. And uh, I'm playing notes, these notes are spaced apart by a, a third. So I skip a white key to get to the second uh, white key and then I skip another white key, if you can show this on the, on the keyboard, it'd be helpful. That is the major chord. Um, so much music is in major, and frequently it is, uh, let's say, more, yeah, it's brighter, sunnier, perhaps happier music. But here is the minor chord. For anyone who wants, and this is true for singers as well. Singers, one of the best exercises you can do is practice singing your major chords and your minor chords. And then just like I asked you to do for the pentatonic scale, start it on different notes. And just follow your ear. Just follow your ear and see if you can get the same sound. So you will get, find that sound because you're just working within those uh, five, uh, uh, three different notes. Um, it's essential that you know major and minor chords. If you're going to play uh, with other people, if you're going to back up other people, um, I think it's really important, as I said, for uh, uh, solo, you know, wind saxophone or flute, violin to know all their major and minor chords. I also think it's really important for singers to know all their major and minor chords. It really gives you a solid foundation. And this way you don't have to feel, uh, a singer doesn't have to feel intimidated by, by the musicians who are saying, well, we're going to take it where the F, F major chord is, and the singer will know what the F major chord is. So learn your major and minor chords. It will make you a better musician. Thank you.